That moves us to Sunday, and the Dallas Cowboys are visiting the New York Giants. The Giants are a 10.5-point underdog at home, total of 44.5. Cowboys 7-2 and two against the number against the Giants in their last nine meetings. Cowboys 10-1 and one against the spread in their last 11 against NFC teams. They are 6-1 and one against the spread their last seven as a road, or in a road game, excuse me. Uh, the Giants, however, 6-1 and one against the spread against NFC East teams so far. I am interested in this because that line was a little higher than I anticipated it being, but the Giants have been bad lately, like really, really bad. Dak Prescott, I feel like, is is somewhat in a rut. Like they they came out hot last week, but yeah. couldn't do anything down the stretch. And the offense just has not been clicking for whatever reason. I I really want to take the Cowboys here, but you know what? No, screw it. I'm gonna take the Cowboys minus ten and a half. Okay. I just don't think that I don't think the Giants are good at all, and I don't they're think not. that they're really gonna be able to slow down the Cowboys, and I don't think they'll be able to score. Like the, the Cowboys' defense is good. I I believe all those things you said. I'm going to take the Giants plus the ten and a half. It's a divisional opponent. I, I can feel see like they know these guys. They're at home. Uh, the The problem, the downside of the Giants being at home is actually not a great thing. It, it, there's a world where if it gets ugly fast, that that crowd just turns on. Oh yeah, turns on them, starts screaming for everybody's job, and then the Cowboys just route. But the Cowboys haven't show me any reason that they can be trusted with a lead much less 10 and a half on the road so that's that's the thing that scared me about it but then I started thinking about the idea that you know it's very possible that the Giants could score single digits in this game Dallas's defense is number three in total DVOA they have been really really good the Giants offense has dropped all the way to number 27 in total DVOA like that is putrid for an offense that is supposed to have all these weapons. Now Daniel Jones is out, and, you know, I just, we'll see. Yeah, but, man, Dak has just looked bad. He has. He has. Um, like, really bad. But also, you know, defensive points count, too. And would it surprise you if uh, if that backup quarterback, Mike Glennon, throws, you know, an interception or whatever? Would it surprise me if Dak throws some picks and nah, the Giants not. score some interceptions? No, no, you're right. You're right. So I I trust Dallas. They they've kind of been living off of uh, off off defense a little bit. So I that's the way I'm going on it. Uh, you're gonna ride Giants plus ten and a half, but I could I could see it either way. Either way. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.